Hi everyone. So I'm Hannah from Hannah Marie Coaching and I'm here on the Heart Centered Visionaries YouTube channel. And I'm super excited because I'm doing a series um, talking to other highly sensitive women in business because I feel like this is such an important topic and so many of us are very intuitive and have a lot of kind of that inner knowing and we have been we've shut it down right because we believe that it's a weakness or you know don't be too emotional don't be too sensitive and all of that and actually we need to raise awareness of this amazing sensitive nature that we have so I'm talking with other women in business to share their experiences um life experience wisdom with you to help you on that journey so today I've got the lovely Satin how are you doing very well thank you it's lovely to be here talking to you about what we will today um thank you for having me oh thank you it's a pleasure like um so just a little intro on satin so sometimes I've been forgetting to introduce or <laughs> say where how I know each of you ladies so I met satin so satin has a beautiful um holistic shop in Southampton um so I met her in there. Actually, it was one of my clients that said to me, oh, you've got to go in this new crystal shop. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know about it. So then I strolled in one day, my intuition pulled me in. And then there was satin, like you had the most beautiful, just loving energy. And I was, that was it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so you. That's why we, you know, got a lovely bond straight away. Yeah, oh, thank you. Exactly. It feels easy when you feel find your soul tribe. Um, so along with um, Satin being the manager of the Zen shop, so she does one-to-one -one meditations in there. And she's also an artist. So you do a lot of poetry, play music, and you're also like a health and well-being mentor. So lots of beautiful gifts that you have to help women with so I'd love to just start by kind of like how I, I realize there's often a series of moments right that we find out but like how did you find out you were sensitive was it a particular experience or a series of things like mm. yeah I think you always <clears throat> know within um there's something a little different with how you work inside or how you go about things in the daily life you might be a little bit more observant of the room um, not that other people aren't we all have our different skills or focuses but with us we tend to you know maybe take it in a little bit and then you find around other people that might be sensitive like you that's where you come out of your shell um, like anyone and um, when they're similar to you then you flourish a bit more because you're understood um, but I think you always know um, <clears throat> maybe the little details you go about in your day or um, sensitive things like maybe the music or the arts you're a little bit more mm -hmm. drawn to because um, it has a um, emotional effect on um, your mind and your body and it invokes um, the feelings and you may have a little weep more than other people where you might cry with happiness or sadness because you feel a lot for everyone um, so I think you always kind of have that feeling of ah, a little bit different to what, how other people might react yeah I love that you're saying that it's it's an inner knowing isn't it and I think yeah that's so true isn't it you just feel you're a bit different um and you can't quite work out why sometimes but it, it kind of seems to open up I think when you acknowledge you're sensitive I mean did it open up for you the more you kind of really leaned into that part of yourself well I found a lot of the time <laughs> people would you know see it as a negative mm. um maybe oh you feel too much and I think there's a place to what they're saying because there's different brains and places for everyone's brains and they work together but I think you know we all have this well a lot of people have this armor um this kind of maybe a front without realizing but then when you get to know people as you have deeper conversations you realize oh there's things in common because we all mm. have feelings somewhere deep that so it's I suppose it's maybe not that we're too different maybe it's the fact that we're just open with wanting to show how we feel more than others mm. maybe um but yeah I found that a lot of the time it might be seen as um you know more emotional or upsetting but maybe we just get um 
prompted or need to do something through the impact emotion has on us. So because of that impact, that's how we maybe get motivated, um, maybe than other people. Um, but yeah, I found the more, as you asked, the more, you know, it's about that self-acceptance, whether you're sensitive or anything, I suppose, that acceptance of this is who I am inside. <clears throat> and as long as I'm doing my best, there's nothing wrong with who I am in my soul. And um, if we can all just see that that's how you express, that's how you feel. I think there's nothing wrong. I think it's very empowering mm. to be very gentle um, as long as we don't get too pulled down by the feelings because then we need to make a difference. But I think there's something beautiful about it because, you know, it helps change the world, these deep feelings, mm. and it helps. It's through empathy that we feel these things um, because we care. Um, so I think there's definitely beauty in being sensitive you know and um just accepting that that's who you are mm, oh that's so <laughs> lovely I love that you shared that um being gentle is beautiful because I think I mean like you said I really connect with being creative because like I've always painted since I was younger and it was kind of a yeah it was like a channel for me to express my emotions when I couldn't speak them you know I felt something and I'll go and pen, um, draw or paint something to let it out. And yeah, I think it is that, you know, it doesn't, I always say this, it doesn't mean we're any better. It just means we're different. We're born with that trait, right? <laughs> and, and like you say, I think the arts, I think it's more as well from what you've said is almost like, it's like our inner world is so important, right? That we, we need that space and that um, we might need more space and other people to process those emotions because we feel we've got that capacity to feel as you say um, and then it's having that boundary around not letting it take over everything right because we never get anything done <laughs> yeah yeah and I think like you're saying about is this is interesting um you know you said about taking yourself away to have the time I think the more you accept who you are the more capacity you have to just go out there and not be drained because you're fully like no this is who I am and you can learn a way of expressing so maybe other people understand oh that's that's um I suppose not so not so weak as it were to see that actually there's a way of who we are and actually there's a strength in the way we go about things just like there's a strength because we need all the people because we're sensitive but we need the people that might be a little bit less so then that's a protection or that everyone has their place um but I always said this to people and I always say this when people come into zen like when they're maybe afraid to show their true self so I say hold on what is more powerful okay I mean I don't want to say more or less because everyone's who they are but in a sense of I could hide my emotion to you and be afraid to show my true self. Or I could say, this is me and I'm open to anyone firing any shots at what they think of me. What's more powerful to show that and go, whatever you say about any part of me, I'm rooted in who I am and that is who I am. What's stronger to hide it out of fear and that's okay, because we all have that fear. I'm not saying it makes you bad, because that's natural. But as we go through that, no, this is me, and you can say what you need to. That's, in my opinion, mm. a lot more powerful and strong, because you don't mind what people say, because that won't change or affect or jar you. Absolutely. Wow. I love I'm getting chills. That's so powerful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Listen, and I feel so soothed by your words. It's just... Yeah, it's it's that acceptance, as you said, um, and it's yeah, it's like you say, being seen. It's almost like allowing yourself to take off those masks and like stand in your truth, as you say. And like, I think there's a vulnerability in that, right? It takes. I was reading Daring Greatly. I think it was last year. You know, Brené Brown. She talks a lot about vulnerability, and it's like we need to be courageous you need courage as well to be vulnerable so actually people that don't understand sensitivity might judge us and go oh you're too emotional too weak right but then also they might have struggles with being vulnerable and sharing their emotions so that's what I think is our superpower right it's that 
we are gentle and we let that side of us be expressed no matter what people will say because we're always going to be judged for whatever right so and it's probably through their experience of them being open at one point maybe you know I don't know their lives but it could be their experience maybe from being open that then had you know what we've gone through which didn't have a great effect and then maybe they got put off um showing their true feelings and then that comes from that place and therefore we can just maybe just understand that and help them to just not be afraid to be themselves I suppose absolutely yeah we kind of we can hold that mirror up for them to say it's okay because the more we share ourselves the more we share those emotions the more we give others permission to do that right so like yeah. talking about this it's we're learning to embrace that part of us and embrace those emotions so there's so much strength in that together as well I love the mm. dogs just join you now <laughs> <laughs> you've got something to say about that hey they know don't they they, know they how do to quite right unconditional love <laughs> absolutely and also you know I was reading a book and it was like I was you know learning dogs cats and horses are all really highly sensitive so you know I always find that animals are so therapeutic right because they just like you say they have that unconditional love and they just they seem to be there when you need them they feel what you're going through and it's just magic <laughs> they know I mean they don't have all these distractions that we might have and whilst we can use them for good like our phones we can flip the script but they don't have that so they're very very observant so their senses are heightened in another area mm -hmm. and they can really pick out things and um there's nothing to say that we can't you know tap into more of that because there's a big percentage of the brain that we don't use as we know and a lot of our processing is subconscious so when people say there's no grounds to just getting a feeling okay sometimes it could be if we're not you know right it could just be a judgment but sometimes you know our gut there's a reason going into the health side I suppose going into that and the mind and body there's a reason our gut looks like our brain um so it's like a second brain um and you know when we get that feeling you hear so many people say oh my gut feeling I should have listened to that so there's something to that and then we can go into health from that because we can start here and look after this but without looking after the body and our gut health because a lot of the things we have today might not be that good for us without looking after both we can't necessarily develop the ability to then be strong in our sensitivity or all these knock-on effects like we always go on about how they go hand in hand, but there is such a baseline of truth there. And it's important to love every part as well, I suppose. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. And your your body will tell you, as you say, something's out of alignment, your body will say, um, will tell you, but we often don't listen. And I think mm -hmm. if, uh, with the highly sensitive nature we have, we have that ability to tune in more. Or, we, or maybe a bit more in tune with our inner world that we need to lean into that. It's so important. Um, and I just want to ask you, because I know you've been talking about a lot about the strengths, which is great. So you obviously see it in a positive light. <laughs> and there are many. What do you feel like have been like your biggest challenge, uh, challenges around like, you know, like showing your sensitivity in your business, whether it's creating music or being seen in the shop or any of those areas of your business what what do you think have been like the things that you found really hard mm, initially what's coming up before I really got into looking after the body I did have more struggles with the mind so now any stresses that come up I can deal with it's almost like balancing both sides of the brain the logic there but the sensitivity and you they're both needed you know so I suppose before really looking and stepping into the body there was more trouble there um because obviously knock on effect so if that wasn't quite right I could try here but um there was still things to go through so I suppose the struggles I found in business um and the problems that can arise if we feel a lot if it's not in the right place assumptions with people where mm -hmm. maybe we have gone through things and we maybe get on the defense a bit too quickly because we feel something or you know it's triggered I suppose something psychologically so we've got to always I suppose be mindful when because we all need each other and everyone works differently so it's using that sensitivity instead of like to protect ourselves we're always fine really it's how we go about it so in your interactions in business 
when maybe there's an important discussion or a difference of opinion or dealing with different personalities. I suppose we've got to just see where they come from. And this is where we need to be a little bit more grounded and go, this is use our empathy to understand them instead of go too much within to have within and without to go I'm coming from this place right okay that's how I feel and using our empathy instead of being completely ill but I need to look after myself from a healed point and go there's empathy for both of us we both have something that we believe how can we come to the right conclusion where you know we're both as happy as we can be um, sometimes that won't always happen sometimes you'll have to go this doesn't align this does and then make your choice but if you can get to a place where you can see where you both are because we all have different feelings in the days different stresses um, so I suppose building that relationship in business and knowing who someone is is important um, as well and because then the more you know someone the better you can help to what they need and not assume them so that's important um, so we can just use our empathy, basically in conclusion, to see where they're coming from, see where we're coming from, and see the best solution to it, I suppose. I love that. It's almost like <laughs> an, an under, like you see their perspective and have an understanding of where they're at, um, rather than let, always, I guess, letting our feelings kind of, um, not that we don't let our feelings lead us, but we have that more balanced, grounded view, I think, because... That's definitely I've struggled with is you can like let your emotions take over you sometimes if you're highly yeah. positive. Yeah. So that having that I think, balance. I like that what you're saying. It it it's like the polarity, isn't it, of almost the mind and the emotions. We need both to Yeah. Really and I suppose it's that fuel our emotions. So that gets us saying, our emotions are our messages. I always say this mm -hmm. in my meditation one-to-ones, mm -hmm. I always say our emotions are our messages just like our body has messages in on the skin or how we need to look after our emotions are that so if we're cross it means okay there's a boundary so I don't need to be rude but this is something that I don't necessarily want to negotiate on how do I go about that or if we're sad something's upset me um so how do I change that so instead of running with it and going all oh, the feeling go okay this feeling is there doesn't mean I'm denying my sensitivity it's like, okay, I'm listening to my sensitivity more. I'm not letting it take, sometimes you might need to release it through the body and have a bit of time, but it's not healthy to hold on to it too long. So I think take the message and go, okay, instead of ignoring the message and just feeling the message, mm. how do I take action from the feeling? Wow, I love that. That's such a good perspective. Like I've not thought of it in that way, you know, when somebody just articulates something, it's, yeah, I, it's so powerful that emotions are messages and, I like that you're saying taking grounded action because if we are very intuitive and empathetic then we will get stuck in the feeling and we often want to help everyone and then we might kind of people please and forget about ourselves as well so it's like what is right for us having that clear boundary I would say seems really important as well right for to maintain that kind of balance within so I've got a little bug wandering around, <laughs> it's getting distracted. <laughs> um, I definitely agree with that, though. I think, you know, um, there's a place for the feeling. And again, like, it is very important to have that because I think, I don't know how I feel about the people pleasing. I've been thinking about this area and I've been thinking, actually, like, I don't know, in a way, this is meant in a lovely way, but I was reflecting, like, as long as I've had enough oh hello phone as long as I've had enough sleep and enough food and I've given myself just a little bit of self-care bath or whatever I think as long as we've got that I think we have the capacity to just give 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 as long as we judge that it's not taken advantage of um, but even then someone might just need it I think there's nothing wrong with actually um, doing as much as we can for people because people say to me don't you get drained and I'm like as long as I've got my basics I'm here to give as much as I can and I think if we were all more like that mm. I think that would be really good so as long as we're looking after body mind got the basics I think I don't know if I believe in people pleasing oh, that's, you know, it's, <laughs> interesting. Know. it's an interesting <laughs> thing because I'm not a whole nother topic but mm. I think that's really important because I guess you overflowing I think it it's important for us as individuals to feel how much energy we have to give to others right 
because I've discovered that I need quite a lot of time on my own but then also when I help people that energizes me like sessions with clients or doing moon guidance or whatever it is so yeah I think it comes down to knowing yourself doesn't it that knowing what you need in each moment and if you kind of feel a bit exhausted suddenly giving yourself that space to rest to then come back yes yes help others be of service um because we care about that right as highly sensitive people I think that's what we connect with we have this higher vision to help people and we we do Mm. care about others so we're going to want to be of service in many ways and Um, I think that's where the body comes into it um actually that's just made me think from what you've been saying I didn't have as much as a of a capacity to maybe do more because the endurance of the body to give as much but I think when you focus on the body more you might not have to rest as much because you've got more energy so that's a useful maybe tool for anyone listening I think that's helped me so so you mean like that building up your the energy in your body has helped you feel a bit more grounded in your emotions as well because mm, if you're giving more emotionally it will affect the body so then if the body has more stamina and it's um got more energy then I think that can up how much you can give as well I love that that's a really that's a really good tip <laughs> um yeah I agree because actually if you have more energy I feel like when I used to do like high intensity workouts I had so much energy and felt really because you're in that higher vibration right you're in that space of joy and like expansive energy that like you say you've maybe got more to give so that's an interesting one um and what else what else like what other self-care practices do you have like to help to support you in like managing your energy like and your sensitive nature yeah so the tips well the tools I use because it will be different for everyone because everyone's individual but for me personally I just love a lovely bath I do enjoy that that's very soothing for me and just being outside here just laying with the dogs for a bit and just 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 taking things in because it's useful to think that if we think too much we can get in a loop of you know not being that's where the meditative part comes in we need to switch off so we can think anew so I think that's useful but to be honest literally just resting taking a day to just you know still do a workout but just whatever we love whether it's music I love just songs I enjoy maybe even a little film you know something to switch off I do love the innocent older films that are just very old-fashioned but it will be different for everyone I think Mm. um but I don't need much sometimes actually just going and seeing a lovely friend or giving even more I'll be like okay (laughs) I feel great so I don't know (laughs) oh that's beautiful oh no I love I really love you said that because I think it is a simplicity um of the everyday like you said nature or listening to music that lifts you up um and I know myself I can overcomplicate things I definitely have struggled with that and that's maybe just me (laughs) but I think simplicity is key and actually if we do feel we feel and sense the world quite deeply as highly sensitive women then maybe simplicity is what we need right that less is more um and actually it's something I've been practicing because if we're moving around at a million miles an hour it's almost like our body is trying to move too quickly um, yes that's true in the world so mm. I don't think that helps in in being sensitive right it, it's slowing down as you said um it's really important so it sounds like a lot of um you're saying about your having empathy and that you know these beautiful gifts of being you know guiding people through their emotions through meditation what what else would you say what other kind of let's say intuitive gifts or things what has opened up as a as an outcome of you really honoring your sensitivity do you know this might be very very surprising but if I'm being completely honest really completely honest going more down the spiritual path now 
Um, I would definitely say <laughs> I was always, I don't know, searching like in Zen, looking into religions and theology. And people have a perception because they link people to the original source. But I have found so much strength and peace within here. Um, Christianity, I know that's such a, you know, it's such a big thing to put out because before I really got into it and was searching, you know, I didn't, I kind of heard it and thought, okay. Um, but I will say for me, um, I've had so much strength and any issues I've had before, it's just seemed to dissolve the way and I've got this confidence um, in myself more than I've had um, in my life and this strength. So honestly, um, since I fully embraced that for me personally on my journey, um, there's been an abundance of things to be grateful for. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. it just, the knock on effect from there, because okay, you might not have to go to a religious point of view with it, but the base morals there, what mm. we have spoken about, forget the history, the people attached, because a lot of the time people chunk them together. Just look at the basics. And what I found is it just talks about loving another, loving a neighbor. So just being there and understanding each other, even if we're going through hard times, even if we're not as easy to deal with. And then it just basically says the basic morals, you know, not to harm another person. It's all about um, understanding and forgiving and we all have our mistakes. And there's a beauty and depth in a lot of that and good morals. So for me, that's a brilliant guideline for what I'm doing going forward. So Thank you for sharing like that. <laughs> again, getting goosebumps. I mean, I mean, I absolutely like, you know, I'm open minded and I think, you know, a lot of I think when you start exploring the spiritual path, there's so many different ways right, of being. And at the end of the day, I think that whether you're you know like follow a religion as you said or you follow um you know buddha or whatever it is the teachings or astrology like i think at the end of the day it's we're all connected aren't we like it's just the patriarchal and the way it's been portrayed that's kind of taken that out and that's a whole nother topic but yes <laughs> as you say whether you believe in you say you god or you say universe or you say allah actually we're all connected so it's coming back to our truth. And it sounds like that's what it's helped you do, right? Find that strength within yourself. Yeah, I think we all have a base within our hearts to love. And we are all, you know, one of the same. Um, mm. And yeah, I do believe that. And there's a lot of perceptions with it. But I've, I've got my voice to say, okay, people might not hear it. But, you know, kind of just, it's about letting each other be hearing it and I suppose whatever way you find it we couldn't all do without each other whether it's just going to the shop to get some food whether it's um come on then. whether it's you know just having a conversation like we're having whether it's anything we all need each other to survive we all try and say well I find it in myself and I can but we all need to be there for each other um and I don't know we've all had moments in life funny moments where we go that's uncanny or we've you know, like spoken aloud and needed help and it's been given mm. so all I'll say is we're always loved and looked out for So I'd love to just finish right on you know if there's women out there that have just discovered they're highly sensitive and you know they're on the beginning of this path because it is quite a big journey right um and they're feeling a bit overwhelmed like what are your what words of wisdom would you give them firstly as I say to clients this is really important I don't ever want people to go too far into the, I do want them to feel it, but, and we must feel it because, you know, our body has these, you know, tear ducts for a reason so we can release things. But it's important when we're feeling so, so low, there's points where we just need, like sometimes we need to push, but if you're at that point, 
Mm. We have, I almost have this visual. You've got a little circle in the middle. This is the problem. This is the feeling inside. And then you've got an outer circle and that can be filled with space. So we just allow and go, okay, I'm just feeling this. Just, just allow to have time to chill, you know, so we can relax. And I think, you know, within the day, maybe just move the body a little bit because that'll make you feel better even if you don't want to. But that's it, really. You need to accept where you're at. And sometimes you just need a minute. And this little circle, this outer circle, we can fill it with, we tend to fill it with, why aren't I doing this? Why? And we punish ourselves. And why can't you just feel this? Or why can't you? And it's not accepting yourself. You're like, why can't I react like this? Why am I, you know, and then we're adding more noise. And we could, it's not easy. It's practice, meditation, looking after yourself. We get there in a better space, but you're not giving space around the problem to kind of just go, okay. Because I remember there was one point I was going through a really hard time in bed and I had all these thoughts and I just think, stop, accept where you are. And the bed become cozy when I just let myself have the bed, have the minute, it was good. Mm -hmm. So I suppose when you're going through things, treat yourself like a friend to keep it short treat yourself like a friend if a friend came to you upset you wouldn't go why aren't you being like this why 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 are you doing that we would not do that we'd go what do you need so ask yourself what you need what do you just really need right now do you need a bath what can I do for you treat yourself like a friend just because it's within you Hello. if it starts doing this go excuse me no thanks just be strong to yourself be a friend to yourself that's beautiful. I love that. Perfect. I mean, that space, like you say, is so important, right? That, and it's okay to not be okay, like I keep saying. So great wisdom to, to, to end on, actually. I mean, you shared so much wisdom, so much. Um, <laughs> and like, thank you for being vulnerable and being your authentic self. Um, it's beautiful. I feel like I'm just getting goosebumps. I feel like so soothed by... <laughs> By your energy oh. so relaxed um yes so thank you for sharing and being here um and i will pop all your links so if you want to connect with beautiful satin she does one-to-one -one meditations by the way so definitely book in if you're local to southampton um or many of the other things you do but yeah thank you so much um i know this is going to help a lot of women mm. Yeah, it's important to help. And I just want to say thank you for the opportunity and platform to give to people by us working together. Hopefully people won't feel so conflicted. And that's what we're ultimately here talking to do because we want to be there for you. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you, Hannah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Satin. Thank you so much. <laughs>